So we're programming in Python, mm -hmm. and we are going to use the uh, breakout board in order to work with buttons and LEDs and stuff. And I haven't worked with this before. So walk me through, Nils. What, what do we need in order to realize a project where we press a button and a lamp, or a LED in this case, starts to shine? Mm -hmm. Well, of course, we're going to start with we need a micro bit. And uh, in this case, we're also going to make use of this accessory, which is called the Edge Connector Breakout Board. And what that does is that we can plug in the micro bit there. So we get access to all the pins that are here on the edge of the micro bit. And it's a bit easier to connect our electronics uh, to it. Then, of course, we have a USB cable. We have a little switch over here. We have an LED, a push button, and some prototyping cables. So we need to connect the electronics, and we need to code. Mm -hmm. uh, where do we start? Well, basically, it doesn't really matter if you first connect the electronics and or first do the coding. But let's let's start with the elect electronics. Yeah. Okay. And uh, should we start with the button, perhaps? Yeah. Sure. So let's make when we press the button, the LED goes on. Sure. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds straightforward. So I'll put in the micro bit over there. And I guess we'll start with the LED. Mm -hmm. And I'll connect the red protecting cable to the plus, the long. Yeah, the longer leg over there is the plus. And I'm and supposed to put it in a pin somewhere. Yeah, so that one goes, uh, for example, pin one. Pin one. So, so you have the small numbers on this board, there which we tell go. you which, which pin it is. And then I'll take a dark cable for the uh, minus, minus. Mm -hmm. and that would go, go to, to ground, which in this case is called uh, zero volt. Zero volt. So there, there we go. We go. Mm -hmm. And that's that one. And then we take the button. And I'll take the white cable to the white. And, and this we're going to connect to another pin. So for example, pin zero. Yeah. And the other one will go to three volt. Three volt. And let's see, that's over there. Exactly. So that means that when we push this button, we connect the 3 volt to this pin, and we're going to read, uh, notice that with the micro bit in our program. And then send instructions yeah. to write. To turn on the LED by giving power to the LED. So let's go into coding. And we surf to uh, microbit.org, and we press Let's Code. And here, obviously, there's a bunch of different editors, and it might look a bit different from when you look at it as it is now, because this page changes a bit. Uh, but we're interested in coding in Python, mm -hmm. so we'll choose the Python editor. editor. Mm -hmm. And the good thing here is to also open the documentation. You can open it as a separate uh, tab, uh, so that you can easily switch back and forth between your editor and the documentation and find all the information that you need. So the standard project opens up, and I guess we need to uh, keep the import function to micro from the micro bit. Mm -hmm. And perhaps the true loop as well, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll take away the other. The rest we don't need. We can remove that. Mm. But now I need to connect to program the pins. Yeah. And I haven't done that before. So if you, if you want to use the pins and you don't know how to use it, this would be a good case to go into the documentation and find information on what, what code do we use. And here, there's different types of documentation. It might look a bit different. Uh, at a later stage, but uh, currently there's uh, a part with tutorials, mm -hmm. and then there's the reference material yeah, below there. Exactly, and the reference material there they list all the different functions you you can find uh, for all the different parts of the micro bit. So here I found an input output pins. Mm -hmm. So that seems to go there, and yeah, here directly there's this uh, uh, read piece of code that seems to be very correct. Yeah. If pin zero is read. Uh, read digital pin zero, basically, yeah. to activate that pin. So what this does is an if statement, which will check uh, the value it's reading from uh, pin zero we want to use. Oh, it already says pin zero, that's good. Yeah, so, so now mm -hmm. it reads pin zero. Mm -hmm. And then if the button is pressed, mm -hmm. what, what should happen then? Well, then I wanted to give a, a signal to uh, like the LED. Mm -hmm. 
So how do we do that? We well, I, I guess I need to go write. back in the documentation. I need to write to this, I guess then. Yeah, exactly. So reading means that you, you check, okay, what st uh, state is this pin in? And write means that you, you change whether or not there is power on a pin. So that's what we want to do for the LED. And I don't see anything there, so I'll, I'll go down here and see if I can see some code in the documentation here that suits mm -hmm. what so I want. So here it starts with all the functions. Oh, there I see something. Here you also see the read digital that we just used with yeah. some explanation. And uh, a write digital below there. Mm -hmm. So this seems to be what I need. And here it also says you can set the pin to high uh, by set giving it a 1 or setting it low with a 0. And high is means that you give with it power. power yeah. yeah. So I would need to give uh, if it reads mm -hmm. from pin 0, then the value should be 1, I yeah. guess. So when we press the button, the LED should go on. Mm. And I guess it should write to a pin. Yeah, exactly. We should tell it which pin it needs to write this to. So here we write pin 1, because that's the one we have yeah. connected our LED to. Mm. Yeah, so and, uh, that's it. Well, maybe we also want to turn off the LED. True, true. So if it's not pressed, then it should be off. So else. Mm. Here, yeah, I guess. exactly on the same height as the if statement. Don't forget the column there. And uh, here uh, we turn off the LED. So I use, use this line again, I guess. Mm. But but now instead of a one, we write a zero, which turns off the power. So there we go. Mm? This seems to be uh, in order, doesn't it? I think Oops. we're. And uh, let's see if yeah. yeah. Let's try it. So I'll download this code. And once the micro bit is plugged in, we should be able to transfer it. There it is. And I'll transfer it over. And we see it's reading to the micro bit. Yeah, there, there we go. So I'll hold up the LED here. And you can press the button. And yeah, there we go. We see that it works. And now we could exchange the button to the switch. Yeah, exactly. And what is the difference between a button and a switch? Uh, so what a button does is that as long as you press down the button, it connects these two wires together. But as, as soon as you let go, it's disconnected and it turns off the LED. But with a switch, it's, it stays in the same state. So now currently it's off, and if you flip the switch, it's in the on position and it stays there. And now it's off again. So, in this way, we have uh, had a go at coding the micro bit with Python in order to control buttons or LEDs with buttons, basically.